Now for this one to work, actually we need to go ahead and create uh, our database schema. Now over here, actually we are using MongoDB. So the first thing you need to do, you need to go ahead and create a MongoDB schema, which we'll do it from scratch. Let's go ahead and do that. Here's our MongoDB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new schema. So here I'm going to select create project. And then over here, I'm going to create something new. I'll say multi vendor. Okay. Test. All right. So here, let's go ahead and do that. Create project. So we're going to wait here until it's done. All right. And here we're going to click create. Then we're going to select free AWS and do the basic things. So I'm going to select most probably I need to do it. Verify. Okay, and uh, here there's one more. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. So over here, hopefully you're able to do that. And after that here, we are going to create a new uh, username and password. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and Probably the same exact one over here as I had early. So I'm going to create this user. Make sure that you know your username and password. All right, and then here I'm going to select cloud environment and here my IP address would be zero and description multi-vendor, multi-vendor food app. And let's create entry. Thanks. All right. Okay. And I'm going to ignore this for now. Okay. And so basically, we'd be using this one. So I can, in fact, go ahead and remove this. We don't need this. I'm not sure why it is created there. And then finish and close. Uh, let's go to overview. And we have like this. Okay, so looks like there is nothing over here. Now I'm going to click on this connect and I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna have this one. All right, I'm gonna copy this and then I'll close it. And first thing we have to do now, you need to open up your backend. Now in the backend, go ahead and find this env file backend is also in the package so go ahead and find it and in general uh, this should be your own string if you did that so first I'm going to copy all of it and here I'm going to save it all right and at the same time you need to make sure that you do npm I well, I've already done it, so it's not going to make a big difference. And then here I'll do npm start. So here hopefully we'll see that it's going to start. But now our database is empty, so there are a lot of issues here. And uh, well, looks like this issue is actually over here. Sorry about that. So it should be your remember earlier we had used a name and password in my case they are same so now let's save it let's close this and let's try it and this time hopefully it says it connected to the database then we are good to go all right so that's the first thing we have done and uh, okay our database is over here but it's actually empty Nothing is there, even if you click on this. Okay, so there is pretty much nothing, okay? So what do we need to do? 
we need to actually go ahead and click on this browse collection and we'll see the same that there is nothing all right but here it did say that okay so we have these things right so here this addresses cards categories driver foods order restaurants now this is the default and it is empty so here once you had downloaded this there is this file called foodly so we are going to import this one over here now to be able to do that first you need to go ahead and install something called studio 3t this one for mongodb go ahead and install it okay all right so after installing you will have an ui like this so first go ahead and click on this and then you're gonna click new connection and uh, now what we need to do the one that we had early over here this one let's go ahead and copy this and put it here and then click next okay and here it says that connection being uh, to saved or whatever all right so now this is the one that we are going to go ahead and work on and let's see if we can click connect all right and looks like that it's connected okay well hopefully this one okay and now since it's here make sure that you click import and then click on this and then configure archive all right and then you select a file so we are going to select this one and open and we're gonna click on this all right and over here we are going to type in foodly all right that's it and then here we're gonna click run and then we'll say okay all right and we did see that something have had happened over here all right okay right okay and uh, one of the other things i think i could do over here right away is also click disconnect and then over here we also need to type in foodly uh, let's save it one thing we could do we're going to close this and reconnect okay so our foodly backend well and the database name is foodly so that's the first part all right the foodly flutter which is the user app over here you come to this one and the same you need to do flutter pub get first you need to do flutter queen and then flutter pub get and you can use a different simulator and run it all right so in this case actually this one all right so i guess it's already running okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this so that i'm going to have a fresh installation of this all right and let's run it all right and here we'll see the logs that pops up 